How's everyone doing today? Well, thanks for coming by and checking out my channel. I haven't posted many videos lately. I've been uh, super busy with making maple syrup for the past two weeks, so I haven't had time to do any filming. Um, I've got a few videos, I think, lined up that I need to edit. But anyways, I'm in the greenhouse here. It's the first week of April, and I've been kind of slowly working away at this while I've been boiling and running over and kind of setting up my greenhouse here. Um, let's come on over to here. And we'll show you what I've been doing. Oh, I'm shifting my line here. So what I've done is I've set my lines up here for 30 inch beds with 18 inch walkways. And I've been doing a few of these. You can tell that there's not much dirt in here. I've said this a few times that I need to get a dump truck full of compost to fill up because the land kind of slopes down. But right now I'm kind of doing these two beds right now because they're fairly level for the most part. And I got some salanova here. I want to get in right away. I've got some spinach. I'm pretty excited. I've got this new tool, a broad fork I got from a company in Quebec. They carry them. They're actually, this one is actually the Grower & Co one. JM Fortier's uh, pitchfork, or sorry, broad fork. And there's a few other, few different styles of broad forks I was looking at online. And he's had a lot of experience over the past 15 years gardening and farming. So this one's really well designed. So I decided to go with that one. Uh, it's been working well. I've been broad forking this. I broad forked this as well the other day. We had chickens in here, so they were scratching up some stuff and got some chicken manure in here. So I bought a tilter as well that I'll show you later on once I do this. I bought some new tools just to help me make my life easier and quicker when I'm gardening and trying to get things set up, bed set up. So I'll show you this uh, broad fork quickly here. And there's a few weeds and stuff through here that I gotta clean up. So it's nice with the broad fork because it's pull, pulling stuff up. Um, it's a little bit of quack grass in here from when we tilled it last year, which was a mistake. But anyways, I'll set this up so you guys can check me out broad fork. It's super simple. So the thing is you stick it in the ground, wiggle it down to the base here and just pull back. And it loosens up the soil here and it aerates a bit. Come down. And it works really well. Oh, you just gotta get your balance a bit. So I'll be doing this with all my beds from now on here because they're super hard and they need a little bit of aerating and then what I can do afterwards I can put some compost on top if I have any might get some rabbit manure but actually I might not need it because we have the chickens in here and they've done a pretty good job so far let's we'll see how it goes I got a bunch of cardboard we laid down last year to help with the weeds, so I'll just take that and toss in the walkways here, which will help out a bit. There's lots of grass down here that I'm gonna have to weed out too, which is frustrating, but it's good to get it out now, so I'm not fighting with it later on. All right, so we've done well here, but as I said, that's this quack grass here I'm gonna go through and pull out now. It's probably gonna take me a little while to clean it up because when I come through with the tilter, what's gonna happen is it'll break it up even more and it's gonna be a nightmare. It's just gonna grow lots more. So we'll deal with that later on. After we check with the maple syrup. Oh, that was a lot of work. And then once we uh, go throw some wood in, then we'll come back. I'll do some uh, weed in here, and then I'll show you guys the tilter. I haven't used it yet, so it'll be kind of cool to show you guys for some use of it. 
All right, so I've just spotted Tilthur as well from Never Sink Farms, Connor Craig Moores. Heard some good reviews on it. Uh, I was looking at the Johnny's Cedar as well, but I figured I'd go with this one. So I just did a quick test run just to see how it worked and test out some of the kinks before I actually show you on camera. So we'll try it out, see how well she works here. It keeps stopping for some reason. I think I'm just trying to learn how it goes. Apparently you're supposed to be able to just hold, use it with one finger. And I think stuff might get caught up here quickly here. Just taking a look here. It's a bunch of quack grass still that's probably catching on here, which is what I tried weed out mostly previously. So this should be a pretty straightforward tool to use, but with my luck, things never go as planned, but hey, part of the learning curve. Check out again, probably some more stuff caught up in it. Definitely a lot of stuff here in it. Tangled up, which is not good. So this quack grass is enough, it's just roots. So this is the first time prepping these beds with the tilter, so, and these beds are new. So it's gonna take a while to work out all the kinks, I think, with the new tools and got. But so far, it's gonna be a lot quicker than it was. And I think these batteries on these, uh, Drill, they're not too good anymore. We need to buy some new ones. Okay, we'll turn around and go the other way here quickly. Tines here. So I'm pretty sure it's the drill's problem here because it's an older drill, the batteries are pretty old. But we'll keep going and we'll have to go a few passes. Once I get this figured out, uh, we'll show you what she looks like. And I, you know how I go, I always like to show you things before I try them out to show you how they work and not work. All right, I just got the solid and open it in and give it a good water right now. So we will continue on. I have a few more in there that were a little dry, so I just gave them a bit of water so that they're easier to transplant just to finish off this bed. So this bed is 30 feet long and it did two 128 plug trees. So I was at 356 or 352. My math is terrible. So I'm going to try working on this bed here, clean it up quickly and try figuring out why I can't figure out this. It just may need a better battery on it is what I'm thinking because the drill seems to die pretty quick with the batteries we have there. Anyways, I hope you guys like that quick little update on the first planting on the greenhouse here on the homestead. And I'm hopefully going to get some dirt sometime soon. Not sure when, I gotta call around. And this bed, hopefully get some spinach planted in it. And then I'm gonna try to get some radishes in as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you out there. Happy gardening.